it's me, Asha here. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. I am in the kitchen and you korang akan rasa macam like, Eh, Asha masak apa hari ni? Kenapa Asha kat dalam dapur kan? Guys, I am not cooking. But I will be testing and rating all of these kitchen hacks. So if you guys see on TikTok, you guys will see like people macam buat tools and tricks and hacks more of like making like life so much easier that we were like, Wow, boleh ke? That's what I want to do. I want to try it out and then I want to rate it out of 10. Okay? So I have a lot. I have a lot of kitchen hacks that I have on my phone right now. So we are going to like go through it one by one and then we're going to see if it works or not. So obviously I'll put the kitchen hack in your video right here. So I'm going to explain to you and then we're going to do it. Okay? So let's start. We have a lot of items here because I feel like I'm doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 kitchen hacks. I'm so excited. Whatever like I can do that will make my cooking lifestyle much easier, I will do it. So let's do number one. We have an egg flipping hack. The only special tool you'll need is a lid. So just like her, I'm going to fry up four eggs. And, oh, uh, I don't know about this. Oh, shoot. That almost cracked directly onto the counter. So I like my eggs over medium, but the trick is to slide the eggs onto slide. the lid. Oh, that was easy. And she basically slams it back into the pan. Please work. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I cracked the yolk in the process though. A 7 out of 10. Okay guys, so basically this hack is, you know how you must have just sunny side up and then you want to do a lot and it's so hard to flip one by one some more and then you can some more. So the hack is that we're going to flip it onto here and then flip it back. So some all of the egg will be perfect. Let's try it. Oh, I'm excited. I'm scared at the same time. Uh, oil. I don't eat sunny side eggs or like, you know, all of the, okay. Saya only eat scramble or omelet. Saya tak makan sunny side semua ni. So saya tak pernah lah nak tahu macam mana nak buat uh, hidup saya lagi senang. Tapi for people who eat this kinds of egg, maybe this is going to be easier for you. One, two, three, four. Okay, jadi. Now we're going to wait for it to cook a bit. And then we're going to use the lid method. Ah. I don't think it's gonna like, it's gonna explode. Like, I don't know, but the girl bought jadi. Kenapa saya punya telur ni ada macam belon kat tengah-tengah tu? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're gonna really wait until it macam masak betul-betul. But we don't want it to be burnt. Oh my god, making sunny side up is so stressful. Okay. I'm excited. I think it's gonna work. I think the first hack has to work. But how am I going to slide it? Like, I think I let that mess on oil. And then we have to hold back. Oh my god, it's gonna fail, guys. It's going to fail. Maybe it's like the heck akan jadi. It's just me yang tak jadi, you know? Okay, okay. Relax, relax. Okay, we're gonna flip it, guys. We have to. Nanti terhangus kat belakang bawah tu. Okay, we have to do it. We have to do it. So... How the hell do you betul betul macam slide it through? I'm only sliding the oil. Okay, we're gonna scrape it a bit. I think up bawah tu dah hancur, man. Oh my god, this is this is not working out, man. Ah! Ah! That bodoh benda ni. Ni pun susah nak mampus. How is this easy? This is making my life more stressful. Hey guys, already the hot bullet. One, two, three, ha! Wow! It works! This hack works! This hack works! Tapi dia tak cantik lah sikit, tapi it works lah! Wow! Not bad! But I think my yolk ni dah overcooked sangat ni. Sebab dah lama sangat ni. If you guys want to make like sunny side out like 45, boleh lah, jadilah benda ni. Tapi gunalah kuali yang tak berat dah. Kalau tak, wah! Okay guys, so we're gonna put it. Okay. Oh, it's definitely overcooked. Guys, this act is like okay lah. You just have to like butter butter, yeah. No. I'll give this hack a four out of ten, man. This is boy jelah satu satu guys. Ni lagi stressful hidup you. Four out of ten for this egg flipping hack. 
All right, guys, so hack number two. Hopefully, this hack will be less stressful and make my life more easier, okay? So let's play the video right now. We have a strawberry chocolate hack that's supposed to be perfect for a picnic. So all you have to do for this is basically open up the chocolate bars and let it sit out in the sun. Supposedly, the milk chocolate bar melts faster than the dark chocolate bar. Hey, look, it did melt, and then you can tell that the milk chocolate is a lot more runny than the dark chocolate. She took her strawberry, forked it, and just dipped it right into the chocolate. Let's give it a chocolate bath. Ooh. Okay, guys, so this hack should be very self-explanatory. But the thing is, I'm filming this at 9.49 p.m. So there's no sun outside. So we're just going to use the microwave, okay? Like you should buy. So we got chocolate. We got strawberry. So we don't need to do the hard method of pergi letak, gonna quietly melt the chocolate semua, and then gonna dip the strawberry, and all that stuff. It has to be very quick and easy. So we got chocolate. Let's take it out. But I feel like if you do this macam pagi also, I think you can make the chocolate melts. But we live in freaking Malaysia, so it's very hot. I feel like if I leave this out for like a couple of hours, put the melt. See, it's really melty. So I'm just gonna put it like this. I'm gonna microwave it. Not that long, because nanti dia hangus. excited for this okay guys you can't microwave this thing okay you cannot microwave this thing <laughs> you forgot it almost caught on fire oh but it's already melted oh my god but look guys it's burnt <laughs> okay so we're just gonna do like that okay let's do it again if this hack is gonna work it's gonna be so easy it is a melt hot it is all right it took a fork Ooh, this strawberry looks good, man. You put a fork inside. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Are you guys ready? Mmm, I love this hack. If you guys are ever craving chocolate covered strawberries at night, so simple to do. You just need a microwave, lah. Or that even a microwave, guna guna the sun. It's so easy to do. I'll give this an eight out of ten. Mmm. Very nice. Alright guys, so this is the third kitchen hack that we are going to do. So basically, every time when you boil pasta, okay, when you boil pasta, and then you not clock on the eye, even if you make ramen, you not clock on the eye, it's so difficult, right? So this is a hack that if you see in the video, they literally just put a toothpick like in between the lid and the quali, and then the eye just automatically flows out, the pasta stays in. Just like that. So we're gonna test this hack. So I'm gonna boil some pasta, and then we're gonna remove the water, Easily, so we won't be stressing, stressing about. Alama, alama, alama. Noodle that claw. Or the other like the eye. Get the lamp to so na claw kanda eye. Cause people sometimes will use like the drainer or the strainer. Kind of another tool. But if you use another tool, you can buy so another one. We don't want to wash an additional dish. You know what I mean? So we're gonna wait for this pasta to boil, boil, and then we are gonna test it. Hopefully this hack works because I will be using this hack because I love cooking pasta. And it's gonna be so easy. Can I just use a toothpick? Toothpick? Who would have thought? I don't know if it's done or not. I don't know if you want to make pasta because it's all masuk in the sink. Hati I pecah and I tak nak, I tak ada mood dah nak masak Maggi tu. Atau like whatever, some whatever noodles I was cooking at that time lah. Ooh, sad. Sampai, I, I think I cried. And then mama had to make me a new one. Because literally all of it. Kalau satu dua straight, I faham tau lagi. All of the pasta went into the drain of my sink. Okay guys, so when your pasta is cooked, we're gonna turn off cheap. Macam cooking show pula kan. We're gonna close it. So, in the video just now, she literally just put a toothpick in the middle and drain it. So I'm just gonna do just that. But also being very careful lah. So, pergi sink. I got my toothpick right here. So I'm just going to put it in the middle like this. <laughs> and then we're going to pour it and the noodles don't go out. Is this even like, I don't believe this at all. But we're going to give it a shot. We're going to try. We're going to try. No way. No way. Oh my god, it works. <gasps> wow. Again, again, again. Oh my god, it works! That's right! Literally! That's right! Wow! Almost burned my pinky for doing that, but it actually works! I am impressed!
Okay, wait, let me do it again. Let me do it again. So we're gonna do a lot of water this time, okay? A lot of it. You just have to do it again. This is so cool. Okay, just put the toothpick. Close the lid. Well, now it makes sense, you know, because when you close the lid and then you put a toothpick in the middle, so it will blocks all of the pasta going out. It kind of makes sense. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Ni betul betul dah tak ada ni. Wow. Okay, guys, I'll give this hack a nine out of ten. This is so easy and simple. All you need is this and a lid. So dah settle. No water. 9 out of 10. Next hack. This video basically, you know every time when you're cooking and then the minyak macam like splat, splat, splat at you and then sakit tangan you semua and then you takut that you have to do like that. Every time when you watch my cooking videos, you would know guys but sakit kan. So, today we are going to goreng some nugget. Tapi, in the video, dia guna benda ni. So, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. So, basically we have to cut here and then cut here and then this will be like our shield arms and then we have to take out a fork. Oh, the fork comes here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll show you. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. So basically, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Cut this. So after you carefully cut these big bottles, you will put your hand in down. This is going to be so dumb. But hopefully this works. So you're going to take out the cap. Okay. You'll need two forks. So you put the fork in. <laughs> And then this is going to be like your shield, a protector of oil. So when the oil splash, they take to you. It sounds so smart. It looks dumb, but it sounds so smart. So we're going to test it and see if it works or not. It looks so dumb, guys. But we want to know, you know, like we all have this problem. Kalau you nak masak goreng anything ke, kita balik pula tau. Kalau nak goreng anything, the oil just attacks you. I don't know why. So we just want to fix that problem, shall we? Let's fix it. Pour some oil. Okay. We're gonna wait for the minyak to be really panas, so we want that splashing effect, you know. You need to check pasal je, but it's kind of me. But look, I think it will work, you know. But how difficult is it gonna be to control this rather than using a spatula? That's what we wanna test out. So hopefully, this hack is gonna be a 10 out of 10. Because if it's a 10 out of 10, I will keep these bottles and you will see me using this in my future cooking videos. So smart. Do you guys hear that? That is the sound of sizzling. Okay, so we're gonna use this technique. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry. So you got not control with the fork. Okay, ready? Oh, I thought I was sakit, man. Thought I was sakit. Okay. Another one. It actually works, you know. It's just hard to control it with the fork. Wow! This method works! You're that stressful because of the oil splatting at you. I kind of like this hack. You look stupid lah, but it works. Oh, it works, it works. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna test how to flip it in a bit, okay? Guys, you can see the oil splattered on this, which was supposed to be on my hand. But I protected it. Good hack! Good hack! Okay, this is a bit hard. Ostoflazim. Wow! Oh! It got on my face! It got on my face! Oh my god! That is so painful! Oh no! Okay. 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 Oh my god. Okay. It, it protected my arm, but it did not protect my face. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's actually so hot. Okay. This, I don't like this hack anymore. I had to wash my face. Those oil went on my face. Oh, my God. It's so hot. Okay, we're done with that. We have to use this. Ha, kan senang lagi sikit. Ya Allah, hidup ni. Setakat sikit oil je nak takut. Buat apa nak takut. Kalau takut sangat, jangan masuk dapur. Ha, kan dah jadi malak. This is so much easier, man, than doing all of that stupid. Thing. You know if you do that, you have to wash two forks. Me, you just have to wash one thing. And also, boleh je jauh sikit. Minyak kena sini, buka sini. Tak kena muka juga. Okay, I rate this hack. Sorry, 4 out of 10. It also kena my arms kat atas sini, you know. Don't do this. This is dumb. 
Jangan takut sangat Minyak je I kena muka I okay je Cik tangan Yelah Macam semut gigit je Hack number 5 Okay guys So this involves a lettuce I don't eat lettuce So this hack will not improve my life quality whatsoever But if you guys want to cook lettuce guys, You have to peel it one by one semua And it's so big And it's, it's like time consuming right But as you can see the video kat sebelah I They basically macam like Smash the lettuce or use your hands And then this whole stalk the cut bawah ni akan keluar just like that so it's easy for you to just copy your lettuce I don't know if this is gonna work I don't care if it works or not because I don't eat lettuce but we're gonna give it a shot I don't think I can use my hands for this so we're gonna just smash it on the table and see if it claw or not no, not yet, hold on all the lettuce is coming out already what is this? what is this? okay, wait where is the stock there? One, two, three. <gasps> it works! It works! <gasps> it works! Guys, look! The stock came out! Oh my god! <gasps> the stock came out! Oh my god, it works! Okay, so now what? Oh, now you have a... Now your cabbage is going to be Now you have a full cabbage ready. You're going to be it's so easy. Wow! I have to show this to Tapau KL with your team, man. If they do nasi ayam, it works. I'm surprised that it works. I thought it would never work. Oh my god, yeah, it's so easy to complete your lettuce already. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll give this like a 7 out of 10. This is very useful. Just smash it, man. And then, uh, in seconds, I got lettuce already. Alright, guys. So, hack number 6. So, if you guys see the video, guys, here, it's basically like, you know when you want to tuang like a drink in another cup? But when you not tuang to, it'll like flow all over the place. You know what I mean? Like, you know when you have a drink, a drink, and then you not tuang, the drink will go down and then it won't go in the cup. So, this hack is very, very... Hmm, really? I watch it too. So, here. We got a glass. Glass bottle. Summa glass, basically. It doesn't have to be glass. I don't know. I'm just following the video. So, basically, all I have to do is put the straw in here. The ho hole is very small, tau. So, the most likely for me to tong here in here is gonna tumpa. But, in the video, it says that like, I have to tong the eye within the straw. So, it will just follow the straw and I will go down. I don't know if this is gonna work, man, honestly. But if it does, it's gonna be life changing. So I'm just gonna twang. Oh my god, I'm so scared. It's gonna spill. It's gonna spill. Okay, I'm gonna do one without like the straw, okay? I'll show you guys how it is gonna be like. Ha, ne? See, 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 see. Dia akan tumpah. Dia akan tumpah. Okay? So we're gonna do one with the straw. So we just have to. Holy shit. Dia tak tumpah bodoh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's actually working. Right? Oh my god. Okay, you can't do it too... S oh my god. Okay, it's gonna it's tumpahing. You can't do it too slow or too fast. You have to know the right amount of water. But it's working. It's easier lah. Eh? I'm getting the hang of it. Oh uh, wow! I'm doing very fast. It. I'm doing very fast now, guys. Oh my god, I'm doing very fast. Whoa! Oh, I'm sweating. Okay, it did tumpa a bit, but that's because you can't do it too slow or too fast. If not, yeah, I can tumpa. It has to be at the right amount. But I did it in a very small hole, guys. I'll give this hack a 7.5 out of 10 very good but you have to master the timing of when to tumpa it but obviously if you just do it just like that it's gonna tumpa a lot but this is very good hack good job i like this i will use this in the restaurant and eh nak isi kit tuang kat sini eh jangan tuang macam tu mana straw mana straw ah macam tu all right guys so hack number seven as you can see from this video right you have your own ketchup right and then ketchup Bila nak dekat habis, it's so hard to get out. Like, you know, the liquid yang kat bawah-bawah ni semua. It's so hard. This one is a bit sus lah. You have to like, basically swing your arm so all of it comes down. So it'll be easier for you to squeeze out the ketchup. So I got an almost empty ketchup bottle over here. And there are some liquids on the, you know, on the wall semua ni. It's gonna be so hard for me to squeeze it out. Okay guys, so we're gonna swing it. We're using the swing method now. Okay, ready? One. 
two, three. Come on, come on, come on. Wow! And everything almost went down. It's so clean now. Oh my god, wait, let me do it again, let me do it again. I give this a 10 out of 10 man Nah, tapi macam it works And you still have so banyak left Tadi tu sikit je Oh my god, it's so clean Look at that, that's the cleanest ketchup bottle I've ever seen Kotak is all over the place Wow, I love this hat This hat is very useful I love ketchup Okay guys, 10 out of 10 uh, Finally, a 10 out of 10 hack It works Alright guys, so hack number 8. As you can see from this video, basically you have an ice cream tub. And then you want to share it with your friends, kind. And you don't want like, to bring a ice cream scooper and then four bowls, more. It's going it's, it's to be so hard, kan? So all you have to do, I'll show you. I don't know if this works or not, but we're going to give it a try. I memang tak ada faith kan in any of like, the hacks. I'm like, mm, I'm a bit skeptical, but we can give it a try. Um, whoa. I can pretty much just hold top by myself like share wood. Usually you'll use like a ice cream punya spatula ka and two, but we don't have that. So we're gonna improvise with this. So we're gonna poke for a bit. One. You see where I'm going with this. Two. Three. I bet you guys are so confused, friend. Four. Okay. I already did four, so all I have to do is literally, it says just to cut this in four and then you'll get your own like popsicle of ice cream. How cool is that? We're gonna give it a try. It should be very easy to cut in this. Oh my god, it's working guys. You have to be very careful, okay? Okay, okay, and then we have to cut in the middle here. Okay guys, so this is aftermath. So it says that you can just like, ta-da! <laughs> So you have one ice cream that works. Two. The third one tak jadi sangat ah. And then fourth. Fourth pun dah terkeluar macam ni. Stupid hack. I'll give this. Korang honestly just take one spoon. Share just semua orang dengan spoon ya. I'll give this hack a two out of ten. This one not good one ah. But the ice cream very good. Mmm. So good. Stupid hack. Look at that. Look what I did. Look what I tried to do, man. And the ice cream will melt so easily. We live in Malaysia, you know, where chocolate can melt in an hour outside. Okay, guys. So hack number nine. We have some coffee over here. And then we have two ice over here. So, the hack is basically so simple. Like, you will have to pour. You know when you pour the coffee over ice? It will be diluted and senang macam cair. The ice most like cepat. But if you pour the coffee, the hot coffee, on a metal spoon like this, on top of here, and then pour it through, it will make the process of it being diluted and cair lambat. And then the ice will still stick. Will it work? I don't know. Because I don't drink coffee. But we're going to try and find out. So first, we're just going to pour. Okay. We're going to pour. Just from here. Do we need a straw? Kitty. I love that hack. Okay, we're gonna... Ah, see? Kalau tak guna straw, ah, jadi macam ni lah, boss. Okay, we're just gonna pour first. Okay, dah sejuk dah. Dah, dah. Bukan panas dah, you know? This is boiling hot. So, we're gonna use like this. Are you guys ready? Oh my god, it's gonna... It's... Mm, oh my god, okay. Oh my god, it's more pouring more on the thing than this. This is warmer. This is more cold. Yes, we're gonna see the ice. Wait, need that the ice. This has no ice. Ni? Ni ada lagi! Ada lagi sikit lah. You so sad, guys. There's still ice, but there's sikit lah. I mean like, if you want ice coffee, you order ice coffee. You don't order hot coffee and put ice in it, you know? I, I think this is so dumb. But ni memang betul-betul dah tak ada ice langsung. This one still ada ice. Tapi sekarang kalau I check, dah tak ada lah ice. <laughs> 
But I think whatever coffee temperature you want, you just order and then make you that help make your life harder. Yeah, I'll give this hack for three out of ten, lah. Three out of ten. I'm saving the best for the last. Okay. Alright guys, so the last hack that we're gonna do is professionally cut a watermelon, alright? So there's no video on the side right now because I kind of forgot where I saw this video and I didn't save it. Stupid guy. But as I can recall, you have to cut the sides of the watermelon. And then we're gonna cut another side of this. Okay. Okay, we got it standing up. Now we have to cut the all of this so there's no skin on the watermelon. Alright guys, so after you already chop up all of the skin of the watermelon, here's what you gotta do. Ni macha hotel punya watermelon tau. Okay, so you just make sure your hand is clean. So you cut your watermelon depending on the thickness you want. Let's do a bit thick. Okay. Oh, macam tu. So you cut macha ni je. Okay, you guys are going to be shocked. Let me see this. This is the right way to eat a uh, watermelon, okay? Kalau you nak surf lah to guess or anything, you know, more proper, more proper. Okay, for example, we take the middle piece, okay? Take the middle piece, you got one blob of watermelon. All you have to do is just cut it like a pizza. There you go. Dah. And then all you have to do is just... Can I take one? Yeah, of course you can take one. Mmm. Not for some thin yellow watermelon. So bad. We're so manis. So, but yeah guys, now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You eight, you got one, two, three, four, five. Eight times five, you got forty. Forty, go, yeah. Yeah, you got 40 watermelon slices already. Probably more, but I did not count the kecil one because you're not going to get eaten that. But yeah, guys, that is a perfect 9 out of 10 hack for watermelon. Actually, not even 9. 10 out of 10. It's so easy to do. And it's so fast. That's how you serve watermelon to your guests. Amazing hack. Alright, guys. So that is it for my video today. Rating and trying out kitchen hacks. This is my first time actually doing this type of videos. So if you guys like this video, Comment down below and comment down below what's your favorite like kitchen hack if you've used this before so many times and I baru nak try and find out but you've used this for like years already let me know my favorite kitchen hack I think is probably I like three hacks that I use today I like the ketchup hack I like the chocolate with strawberries hack and then I like the pasta hack I feel like that's very very useful if you guys want more videos like this comment down below and I'll see you guys next time in a new video by the way guys I am actually having like a YouTube schedule upload for like the past few months now if you guys haven't realized every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday for the past like three months now guys so if, if you guys start notice that or yeah no yes maybe yes no maybe now you know so I'll see you guys next time in a new video bye